हेलो बच्चों वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास आई एम हियर विद न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज डाई एजोनियम साल जनरल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ चाइल डाई एजोनियम साल इज आर एंड टू एक्स हियर आर एंड टू एक्स हु डिस्कवर्ड एंड व्हेन इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड सो इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय जॉन जॉन पीटर ग्रेस John Peter Graves in 1885. कब डिस्कवर किया गया था जॉन पीटर ग्रेस द्वारा इन एटीन एटी फाइव इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाई जॉन पीटर ग्रेस इन एटीन एटी फाइव सो लेट इज सी जनरल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डायजोन यू सर हियर सो इट मे बी एराइल एराइल मीन्स मे बी बेंजीन हियर बेंजीन रिंग लाइक दिस आर एल्काइल it may be both may be there and this is azonium or we can say diazonium di azonium and that is halide what is that halide so how will you write the name how will you write the name here by adding suffix diazonium by adding suffix diazonium parent alkene followed by halide by adding Is the name of compound is given like this by adding diazonium to sub to parent compound followed by halide. Like this, if I am writing here, just so you see here, if I wrote here, just you see, if I wrote this here, and two x, and two x here. So what is benzene? This is parent, parent hydrocarbon. Diazonium, diazonium. Due to this, we add diazonium. And if I have written here Mn Cl chloride here and here is so what will be chloride chloride so what is the name of benzene diazonium chloride name of this compound is benzene diazonium chloride here in this compound if we see here a diazonium may be aromatic or aliphatic may be aromatic or aliphatic so in aromatic it is stable. Uh, in aromatic diazonium is stable okay so that we can understand with the help of diagram and in this case uh, in the case of aliphatic it decomposes it decomposes and gives us what is means uh, it gives us alcohol so we will write here r and 2 x just sort of see here r and 2 plus and cl minus and followed by hydrolysis we can say or moisture we can say we are taking solution of this so it hydrolyzes and it give us alcohol okay and so plus hcl here okay but if we compare this one to that if we compare this one to that so that one is more stable that one is more stable means benzene diazonium is more stable this one and this stability can be explained with the help of a resonance with the help of a resonance so let us see how is it stable if uh, availability of electron on this is for a longer time if uh, availability of this electron is which delocalizing over here so it will be more stable okay so what we have discussed here means uh, aromatic azonium shows more stability due to resonance so let us see how does it uh, help to resonance means as the resonance will number of resonance is shown by this compound aromatic diazonium it shows that is more stable but aromatic uh, aliphatic uh, diazonium is aromatic sorry aliphatic diazonium is not stable because it doesn't uh, show resonance so let us see how does uh, the aromatic portion uh, is stabilizing this okay so let us see students here this is due to this it is more stable just all of you see here this and uh, we can write like this also here and two here we are showing and uh, here bond i will show bond like this here okay bond is so like this and so let us see how does it stabilize here so this uh, bit draw the electron here this electron is been drawn by that and it forms like this and resonance is shown like this okay let us see here it is shown like this here so what will be just to see here i am showing first let me show here so it will be changing into double bond here 
and here it will be changing into negative and here one more vector load pair is there and here there will be positive charge there will be positive charge there okay and here if it, it will draw the electron so this nitrogen will be draw electron to here so what will be there will be a double bond just to remember this will be double bond here uh, mostly nitrogen form uh, a triple bond maximum triple bonds but due to positive charge it can form the full bonds and this bond is uh, shifting that side so there here will be positive charge we can show like this okay we can show like this and next step what is happening let us uh, let us see in next step what is there this will shift there okay and charge will develop here so let us see here and above portion will be same as just all of us see here above portion will be same as here positive charge develop this one shifted and it will be it is here we can so negative charge and here blown there okay like this and here one bond bond is there just you see more bond is there so in next step what is happening this bond will be shifting to here this bond will be shifting to here means this ye bond kahan pe shift hoga yahan pe shift ho jayega aur yahan pe kya ban jayega dekho yahan pe next hum log kya dekhte hain let us see here next it will be forming like this structure just to look see here it will be forming this structure here and this bond will be shifting so positive charge will sir develop here right? positive charge will be there here positive charge here double bond and in here this and as it is it is like this only negative charge two electrons and here positive charge and if you want to say uh, due to this two more electron we can show here also two more electron we can show due to negative charge here okay we can show like this and in next step what is happening it moves like that and it again gain this structure so due to delocalization of electron due to delocalization of electron in this compound this compound means this azonium is more stable than allophytic azonium in allophytic azonium this type of resonance is not possible so that is less stable than but it is a uh, stable for a time being not a for longer time not a for longer time it can't be extracted can't be separated during a reaction but uh, for time being it is more stable than the allophytic uh, azonium compound just remember what i would uh, like to say here means this portion means this azonium is more stable okay more stable than the allophytic one due to a resonance structure it is more stable so before this we have seen that how the benzene diazonium ion is more stable than the allophytic because of resonance this benzene diazonium ion is more stable how to prepare let us see how to prepare so it be it can be prepared by the reaction of aniline with sodium nitride plus hcl at 0 uh, 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius temperature in some book it is given kelvin so you have to remember it it may be what is uh, 273 to 278 kelvin and this uh, directly sometime it is shown also uh, aniline benzene diazonium chloride is prepared by the reaction of nitrous acid over 273 kelvin to 278 kelvin but that nitrous acid is obtained by the reaction of na sodium nitride and hcl so let us see how to prepare direct i am writing reaction here uh, benzene diazonium uh, benzene diazonium chloride can be prepared by the reaction of aniline with NaNO2 plus HCl at 273 degree uh, 273 kelvin to 278 kelvin or this temperature may be 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius also okay so how we can uh, how we can prepare just let us see here how it can be prepared it can be prepared by the reaction of aniline it can be prepared by the reaction of aniline with Na sodium nitrite sodium nitrate plus hcl at temperature what is sometime it is given 273 kelvin to 278 kelvin like this sometime it is given here and sometime it is given 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius so you need not to be confused about here okay like this and uh, it takes and it forms here just all of us see what we will get here just all of us see benzene diazonium here we show plus charge and their chloride minus benzene diazonium chloride here benzene 
बेंजीन डाई एजोनियम क्लोराइड वाट बी से बेंजीन डाई एजोनियम क्लोराइड दिस इज बेंजीन Diazonium chloride. So let us uh, we can balance it also here. We can add two, and then what will be there? Uh, yes, if we wrote this product also, that is correct. Otherwise, we can write product also. All the products we can write here. This is there. Okay, and this is reaction is also known as the uh, diazotization reaction. Why? In this primary, primary aromatic amine is converted into azonium compound. So it is also known as diazotization. This is also known as diazotization reaction. This reaction also known as diazotization reaction. Let us see the physical properties. So let us see students here physical properties. We have discussed here preparation. Now physical properties. What is physical properties? Physical properties. Okay. So what are the physical properties here? Benzene diazonium chloride. If we see here, benzene diazonium chloride is crystallized solid. Benzene diazonium chloride. We can write like this here. Benzene, benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride is crystalline solid. Crystalline, crystalline solid. crystalline solid okay benzene diazonium is crystalline solid and readily re readily react with react with water readily react with water okay readily react with water but stable but stable in cold water cold water stable in cold water next property so first word crystalline solid readily react with that and stable uh, but stable in cold water it react when it is heated on heating it react with this heated it react react on dry heating uh, when it is heated dry means on heating dry heating yeah dry heating heating it decomposes it decomposes it decomposes okay means we will get it decomposes and it give us different product if we will use up uh, during heating dry heating it will decompose but if we will use different reagent there during heating so we will get different product and here if we see here other point fluoroborate fluoro benzene diazonium fluoro benzene diazonium fluoroborate is water insoluble benzene diazonium fluoroborate is water insoluble and stable at room temperature so these are the physical properties of the benzene diazonium let us see what are the physical properties of benzene diazonium benzene diazonium chloride is uh, crystalline solid crystalline solid react with it readily react with water uh, it readily react with water but it is stable in cold water it is stable in cold water and when it is heated when it is heated it decomposes and uh, benzene diazonium fluoroborate benzene diazonium fluoroborate is uh, water insoluble but is stable at room temperature so this is the physical properties of this let us see the chemical properties so chemical properties of this uh, compound uh, can be divided into two category a uh, reaction in which ns2 group is displaced and uh, other one is uh, ns2 group is retained here yeah. so chemical properties of this can be divided into two group what is first fire is displacement uh, reaction involve a uh, reaction involving reaction Involving a displacement of a displacement of N two group. Okay, first is this, and second is a reaction involving a reaction involving involving a retention 
रिटेंशन ऑफ एन टू तो इसके ओवरऑल रिएक्शन को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड किया गया है और क्या है जिसमें क्या है मतलब जो है एन टू ग्रुप क्या है इन्वॉल्व है और दूसरे में क्या है रिएक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग रिटेंशन ऑफ एन टू मतलब एक में क्या है रिएक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एन टू ग्रुप इसके रिएक्शन को दो पार्ट में डिवाइड किया है इट इज इनटू टू पार्ट्स व्हाट इज फर्स्ट इज रिएक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एन टू एंड सेकंड रिएक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग द रिटेंशन ऑफ एन टू ग्रुप ओके सो टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस दिस मच नेक्स्ट टाइम वी विल सी नेक्स्ट वीडियो मोर टॉपिक ऑफ दिस विल बी डिस्कस इन डिटेल ओके थैंक यू सो मच स्टूडेंट्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो